morning sirs today we have to discuss the types of cores and design of core in transfer box it is already observed that transformer is a high efficient device in power system so each factor contributes to go for higher efficiency last class it is observed that how the leakage reactants can be reduced what is the design parameters now what are the types and how the cross section will affect on the performance of machine that is the basic idea here in general we have used rectangular type of core square core stepped core again in stepped two stepped three stepped or four stepped so in general the shell type of transformer uses rectangular cross sections rectangular core rectangular core it is mainly used for core type of distribution transformers with small power rating of transformers and low voltage rating of transformers rectangular shaped core is used the ratio of depth of core to width of core it varies between 1.4 to 2 and rectangular shaped coils are used for rectangular cores if core section is rectangular then rectangular shaped coils are also used for shell type of transformer width of center limb it also varies from 2 to 3 times depth of core it is well known fact then square type of core as well as step type of core when the circular coils are required in power transformers and distribution transformers square or stepped type cores are used it is possible to use either circular coils or rectangular coils it is also well known fact earlier i told rectangular coils are used and circular coils are used so what is the difference between so if you are preparing the circular coils these coils are superior in mechanical characteristics because when the transformer is subjected to short circuit or overload conditions the leakage fluxes produced are huge amount more amount of leakage produced fluxes are produced and also develops huge amount of mechanical stresses but these forces developed mechanical forces developed on a circular coil it acts along radial hence radial it will act hence there is no tendency of coil to change its shape hence deformation of coil not occurs but on the other side if rectangular coils are preferred the mechanical forces developed on the rectangular courses are perpendicular to the coil hence there is a chance to change coil shape hence rectangular coil becomes circular coil hence it deforms therefore on more stronger side the circular coils are preferred but rectangular coils are also used depending upon the performance of transformer or lower rating shell type transformers rectangular coils also preferable but in square core in square core uh, diameter of circumscribing circle is larger than stepped core of the same cross sectional area you observe you observe in square type of a core d where d is the diameter of circumscribing circle area of circumscribing circle pi d square by 4 okay in square core d is larger than stepped core you may observe from uh, next diagrams in stepped type of cores in stepped type of cores the lmt reduces the lmt means length of mean turn of winding 
either primary or secondary lmt reduces as the lmt reduces requirement of copper reduces requirement of copper reduces then copper loss also reduces it increases the efficiency or performance of transformer remember if we are going to select number of steps if larger number of steps are used then different size of laminations are required it creates a small disadvantage that is increase in labor charges for assembling and sharing of these lamination process but it is uh, nowhere considered we have to consider the reduction of copper loss the reduction of copper hence in general stepped cores are more useful for higher rating of transformers the diagrams shows different type of cores are used in transformers number 1 rectangular core number 2 square core number 3 stepped core in again stepped core it may be two stepped it may be three stepped it may be four stepped you can go for multi stepped cores but only one thing you remember two stepped core is also referred as cruciform core d d is the diameter of circumscribing circle by using the d we can estimate the area area of circumscribing circle that is pi d square by 4 sir here two possibilities are there what are the different type of cores used in transformer and discuss this is first part after that another question is there give the design procedure for square core and stepped core to stepped core means you give the design otherwise you limit the answer up to diagram types of cores and uh, explanation okay this is for second part give the design procedure for square core and stepped core now you consider you draw a diagram once again of square core where a is side of square all sides are equal in square core b is diameter small d is diameter of circumscribing circle this d also related to area of circumscribing circle so area of circumscribing circle equal to pi d square by 4 so here we can estimate diameter of circumscribing circle capital d equal to under square root of a square plus a square so we are going to get d equal to square root of 2 times a so it is possible to estimate side of square side of square a equal to d by root 2 by knowing this one you develop the equation for gross core area gross core area is given by agi agi that is nothing but area of square area of square equal to a square a you replace a equal to d by root 2 hence we are getting the equation number 1 agi equal to 0.5 d square assume the standard value stacking factor as 0.9 stacking factor as 0.9 then you calculate the area of iron area of iron equal to stacking factor into gross core area so net iron area equal to 0.45 times of d square equation 2 is observed here you remember stacking factor only difference actual area is gross core area actual area of square is gross core area then considering stocking factor it less net iron area net iron area then you take the ratio net core area to area of circumscribing circle already you are knowing net core area 0.45 times of d square area of circumscribing circle is given by pi d square by 4 we are getting this ratio as 0.58 
then the ratio of gross core area to the circumscribing circle area of circumscribing circle that is 0.64 so this is the beginning of design similarly we can go for two stepped core so it is also referred as cruciform core sir it is also called cruciform core remember in examination they may give cruciform core instead of two stepped core this type of cross section of core consists two stepped one is largest step another one is smallest step so this is called two stepped core middle one almost all both are identical both are identical small a is width of largest stamping small a is width of largest stamping small b width of small stamping small b is width of small stamping now you can see there this is total length is a then smaller length is b uh, remaining is a minus b remaining is a minus b because two sides upper part is there lower part is there so a minus b divided by 2 and consider the angle theta with respect to horizontal of uh, largest stamping to the d angle as shown in figure the maximum area for a given diameter is obtained when theta is maximum value hence we can differentiate aji with respect to theta and equate to zero to get the maximum value of theta from the diagram it is observed that cos theta cos theta equal to a by d sin theta equal to d by d simple relations therefore a width of largest stamping equal to d cos theta width of smallest stamping b equal to d sin theta from the earlier diagram you can write the expression gross core area gross core area agi equal to a into b a into b then a minus b by 2 into b this is two times because two times we have considered area we have to calculate so finally i am going to get d square in bracket 2 sin theta cos theta minus sin square theta then differentiate agi with respect to theta d by d pt of agi and equate to 0 you differentiate above expression we are going to get d square cos 2 theta into 2 minus d square 2 sin theta cos theta and equate to 0 and equate this equation to 0 then minus d square comes this side d square 2 sin theta cos theta equal to d square cos 2 theta into 2 you solve we are going to get the theta value 31 degree 45 minutes maximum value of theta theta should we are going to get approximately 31 or 32 degrees by knowing this value go for width of largest stamping width of largest stamping a equal to d cos theta very simple you substitute cos theta value put in terms of d so it is 0.85 times d put the block remember a equal to 0.85 times d and width of smallest stamping b equal to 0.53 times of d these two values are to be remembered if we are using cruciform type of core or two stepped core then gross core area earlier expression aji equal to 2ab minus b square then already you are knowing a and b value in terms of uh, d you substitute that value so a equal to 0.85d b equal to 0.53d substitute we are going to get aj equal to 0.618 times of d square give the equation number one and assuming the stocking factor as 0.9 then estimate net gross 
net core area AI equal to 0.56 d square give the next equation. So, we can go for the ratio, ratio of net core area to area of circumscribing circle, it is 0.71, gross core area to the area of circumscribing circle, it is 0.79. So, multi-stepped core, the number of steps used above the two, then it is referred as multi-stepped core. So, you clearly observe from the table, from economical point of view or more utilization of core area, it depends upon four stepped core. You see there, you compare the values, more utilization of core occurs in four stepped core 0 0.87, 0 0.78. Hence, utilization factor is increases utilization factor of core increases with stepped cores, multi-stepped cores. So, as compared to square core, cruciform core is better. As compared to cruciform core, three-stepped core is better. As compared to three-stepped core, four-stepped core is better. This, that was this table is very important. It shows that area of circumscribing circle utilizes more core, it is 0.87 that may be observed in four stepped core. Hence, by increasing the number of steps in core, it utilizes the core area properly. Hence, in practice, the stepped cores are more useful rather than square and rectangular core. Thank you, sirs.